so as we can see she wrote this email of how she has to perform this three to four tasks every day every morning at the office and how this can be automated so we prepared this one single file which she can just click on it and all those tasks as written will be performed automatically without any manual interface okay so welcome friends welcome to your channel efficient corporates where we learn to be efficient and not only busy so first of all uh, sorry for the long long gap that we had in our channel uh, we're really occupied in some other commitments really sorry for that but yeah we have um, now come up uh, with uh, again we have gained the momentum and yes we have thought of multiple new ideas for the channel as well we'll be looking at many new videos uh, in the channel so and yeah definitely there will be continuity going on so thanks 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 for all the uh, viewing that we have got even despite not being able to upload the, any new video thanks for the support and we really seek this support going forward as well and with this i hope uh, you will like the today's video as well on how we have optimized the process and we can we can help you save multiple minutes every day at office so do enjoy the video and let me know your feedback on the comments thanks okay so we are starting with a new series save your hours where we will be discussing about the daily activities or daily reports or mis that we usually do in our offices and that takes a lot of time so we will discuss on how we can optimize it to some extent automate it and save multiple hours for us every day so uh, and you can also save your queries and your uh, process which you would want to automate we have a separate google form for it we will discuss at the end of the video more about how you can make your own submissions and with this so let's start today's video okay so we received a mail from one of our viewers and the mail says uh i'm working in a corporate and a marketing department every day when i reach office the first thing i need to do is one open my mailbox in outlook uh, open apps like ms teams and some internal apps uh, open some five to six websites where we run ad campaigns okay and open some around three four excel trackers which we have to maintain and my company policy mandates to switch off the computer before we leave so every morning these steps are to be repeated um, they can't keep it in sleep or something so that the files are open and can there be some way to automate these i prefer not to use any third party app please help so uh, as we can see it's a one of a common problem in a corporate that okay there are some process that you have to uh, perform every morning so yeah pretty much opening a, a toolbox like a mail ms teams and then some other apps so let's see how uh, we can automate these processes and without use of any apps so we have brought a solution for this so the four actions that need to be performed is uh, opening the mailbox opening ms team uh, opening few websites and opening three to four excel trackers so our solution is to use command prompt and batch files to do this so let me first show you a demo like how we are planning to do this and then we will uh, tell that how we can actually make such things for our own use as well so we in the demo we will be opening outlook and ms teams which is a native app uh, then we'll be opening tally which is like some custom apps as they mentioned that they have some internal apps so some, we'll be opening a tally uh, tasks will be opening the websites in default browser or we'll try in different browser uh, these are the four websites that we'll be opening and then there are these three excel files that we'll be opening so in this way we'll try to demonstrate how we can uh, do these things now if i do all time you can see there are no any applications opened in mind they are just uh, one excel file is open and nothing else is open the browser is closed the outlook is closed uh, the outlook is not open yeah so let's uh, just uh, do a demonstration so this is the bat file which we have created and if i click on this bat file let's see what happens the few commands that runs and then you can see automatically there are the websites that are uh, getting open and there are uh, apps that should be open the tally prime is getting open 
and then also excel files should be open so it will take around a couple of seconds like 10 to 15 seconds and everything will be open as per the command that we have given so you can see the tally prime is opening the ms teams has opened here ms teams has been opened uh, let me just go one by one the steps which i made open outlook and ms teams so the outlook have got opened so the outlook is being opening here now the outlook is opened here and uh, ms teams got opened here ms team and uh, the websites and default browsers these are the four websites that were to be opened you can see epithet corporate and ici.org and money control and uh, economic times so what we have did is we have uh, did these inputs uh, to do so we started uh, chrome we use chrome for these two websites we did brave for one website that is the money control and we did edge for the other websites that is economic times and this one just got open so uh, this is a very simple demonstration of how by just clicking one button uh, just clicking one file you can perform multiple actions so those who know about a bat file they would have understood that how the command works and this and for those who uh, who is uh, who are looking at this command prompt for the first time let's explore how and uh, how we can use command prompt and how these things works uh, at, at the back end okay so let's see what happened so we have one file under which we had multiple commands and when we clicked on it a window appeared which is a command prompt and all those commands got pasted and based on the commands the applications were opened or the files were opened and the websites so first of all if you do not know what is command prompt what is that small window what is the bad file so i would uh, uh, prefer you to uh, look at these two videos uh, link is in the description also in the i button above that uh, how actually command prompt works, how what's the basics of command prompt and how the how we can make multiple commands there and do our perform our action. Now, uh, hoping you know the basics of command prompt. So let me get back to that sheet and show you what exactly we wrote and how can we make commands that can perform other work as we want. Okay. So the first task was to open Outlook and MS Teams and mind here I have written native apps. So there are few native apps in Windows which we can directly open. For example, if you press Windows plus R, then if I simply write uh, WinWord, so we know that uh, WinWord stands for Microsoft Word, so it directly opens it. So it's a it's a native app to uh, to uh, Microsoft. Similarly, if we write Tally, it won't open Tally because it will say we do not know what is Tally. Now, so it is not a native app for Microsoft. So technically, they did the concept of environment variable, uh, which I won't be discussing here. But for now, we can understand as native and non-native apps. So Outlook, MS Teams, these all are native apps, and that is why we have a common word for these. So if you look at the native apps, these are the few native apps that you can open. So to open these native apps, we simply what we can do, we can do Windows. R and we can do an Excel or you can write an Outlook or anything. Suppose I have to open MS Paint. I can do MS Paint and I can open it. So uh, this is how it works. So when we are using a command prompt, so we can simply open a command prompt. We can do CMD and the command is start. So when we do start an MS Paint or type it, it will directly open that application. So this is similar to going to ms paint and double clicking on it so these are the uh, native app and yeah the pro tip which i already said you that windows r also you can press and you can write any of these apps name but when we have to perform actions in bulk like open multiple uh, command multiple applications then we use this command from batch files okay so these two are the command as we can understand start outlook and start ms teams are the command to open outlook and ms teams now the second task was to open a non-native app which is tally so how do we open tally because neither we can open it using windows r nor we can do something like a windows command and start tally so if i do start tally it will simply say windows cannot find tally so for starting an app as tally we have to give its complete exe file uh, location so Again, a pro tip of how we can find this uh, entire location of uh, our application. So you simply have to do tally. You have to go to tally prime, any app which you have to do it. So you right click on it. You say open file location. 
sometimes it will directly give you the exe or it will give you the shortcut to that file if it gives you the shortcut again it's a shortcut it's not an application you look at the type so again you have to do right click and again by right, right clicking it will uh, say to open file location and sometimes it will come at once sometimes it might take again two more clicks so here you can see it's an application it's a tally prime location it's on the c drive program files tally prime tally.exe again you do not have to manually type it uh, uh, and another pro tip for this you can just do right click and you will get an option copy as path so when you do copy as path click on it and if you see f2 and if i press it you will directly get the location of that exact file okay so that is how you have to do start and double quotes double quote that is nothing in this double quote and then the entire location which we got from right click make sure you do this double quotes as well and then percentage star okay and this is how you have to uh, like mention if you do this command in command prompt it will open the exe file which you have mentioned so that is how we open tally or any custom apps uh, which you want to open the third task was to open a few website and you know? so I have, I have for demonstration. I have tried opening websites using different browsers. I have Chrome, Brave, uh, Brave, and MS Edge. So it, it is quite simple. And you just have to type start Chrome and then the URL of the website. And the URL need not only be the top level domain. It can also have multiple uh, sub uh, like the paths as well, like slash tech or slash budget, whatever, whatever exact URL you want to open that it can be opened. Okay, so Chrome, Brave, MS, whichever app you want to use, and then multiple uh, websites, you can have a space and then type the another website. So this is how we accomplish the task three. In task four was starting of an Excel file. So basically, we did start Excel. If we only did this, it will open the Excel application. So we also mentioned which location of the file do you want to open, right? So yeah, uh, so this was the location. And to get the file location the same as we got it for application, right click, right click and copy as path. So you'll get the location of that uh, file. And after that, and uh, you can type multiple files as much as you want to open. Like I opened three files, you can see three files must be opened. Uh, France, 1004 and January. So yeah, maybe I changed this command and that is why it opened a different file. 1004 and France, these are the files that got opened. And then pause is basically so that the window pauses over here and uh, it says press any key to continue. If you don't write the pause, the window will close. Okay, if I press enter, it will uh, anyways close. So this is how you have first write the command. Echo off is basically uh, just written uh, at the top, uh, top post command. You just copy it and then you have to paste it over here as a txt file like you can open any normal txt file and you can simply paste it you have to paste the commands as you copy it from excel you can close it and then you can just simply rename the extension as dot txt to dot bat now many of you might not be looking at you might not be seeing the extensions the thing might come something like this that you're not able to see the extension so you do not know if you do f2 you cannot change the extension name so for this you will have to do view so file name extension and then you'll be able to see the extension and then you can change the extension of the file from dot txt to dot bat so once you change it to dot bat it becomes a batch script and uh, this when you click on it it will run all the commands which you have given it inside the file one by one okay and that is how you can perform multiple actions like you can have 10 different apps to open, 10 different websites, 5, 10 different Excel files to open and it will be performing one by one those steps. So while you are having a step of a copy, it will be performing all your actions in your uh, in your system. And, um, and this does not require any third party apps as she mentioned that she wanted, she preferred not to use any third party apps. So we have tried not to use any third party apps. Command prompt is there in every window, in every office so you must be able to uh, use this and perform actions so yeah definitely it's uh, something that it might take you five to ten minutes every day having the simple command can really uh, help you with uh, that so yeah this pro tip i already discussed and just copying the path
and uh, this is how you can do it and now one super pro tip for those who have continued till here and stayed in the video now if you feel like yaar even this is so hectic yaar every day i have to come i have to click on this button so what if when i restart my system every morning as whenever the uh, switch off you have to restart your system can we do something that with the restart all these gates open automatically so for them a super pro tip what they have to do simply you can do simple sell a uh, sell for on startup and you can just uh, go to this i'll again repeat sell call on startup so this is the command that you have to type in your windows plus r or run command once you sell startup this will zoom here and then it will open up this window and what you have to do is simply copy this file and paste it over there as simple as it is and now whenever your uh, system will be restart it will automatically uh, trigger this batch file and open all those commands as you have said now for those who are working on a corporate laptop might be this option is not there but it should be there because it is in the roaming and it's not requiring any admin privileges but yeah you can definitely check whether you are able to access this cell or start up on one so yeah this was from our side and i hope that uh, uh, she will be able to do this and uh, you can also perform all these actions so if you have to open few files few websites and a uh, few apps every morning you can really try um, try and uh, share share this thing with your friends as well how they can save uh, multiple uh, minutes of of their uh, early day now uh, coming to the third part of it how you can make your submissions and if you have any such processes if your friends or colleagues have any such processes which they want to automate and reporting they want to automate they can reach out to us and we'll try to uh, make the best effort to automate it and optimize the process so let me show you the process of how uh, you can do this uh, okay so as you can see we have this link given in our description which you can access a google form save my hours efficient corporate process optimization form you can basically it's a short uh, form where you have to mention your email and one specific thing your consent is uh, when you fill out this form you're basically giving us a consent that okay we can use the information which you are providing your form when when we record our video definitely the identity will not be revealed if you uh, want because that's an option we have given the second part of the form is your information where you uh, mention of about yourself make sure that the phone number is only 10 digits and here you can have your thing that if you want not to be having your displayed name and city that will do or you can do have no objection you can just click on next and now you can mention about the process of what is the current process that uh, you want to optimize you can um, also upload some files if you want any sample files or you can give us the google drive link of like these are the input files how the input files look like and you can mention a description and also you can mention how you would want to do it and uh, any other details about the current process like uh, at what frequency you perform it any tools you have been using it any optimization attempts you have made you can just make it uh, descriptive so that it's easier for us to understand and get back to you and uh, yeah any preferred tool if you would want to use for doing it and any other remarks and by the way any in any any ways you can also mail us at this mail address or the or the official mail address hello at the depression corporate.com given in the description that any other issues or how you want to automate it or what process of automation you want to want us to do okay so this much for today's video thank you for watching we'll come back sooner with another video until then don't be just busy be efficient